First Alert 5 weather. Thanks, Rob. And Well County living up to its reputation today as the most tornado prone county in Colorado and in the entire country with 258 tornadoes since 1950. This is the tornado that struck around 515 this evening, covered about 14 miles and did produce some minor damage. Unbelievable video coming into our newsroom. Again, Well County tornado that was on the ground for about 30 minutes today and covered about 14 miles of territory. Let's switch to the maps and I'm backing up the radar to around 530 this evening and this is when that tornado warning was in effect until 6 p.m. You can see just to the west of Platteville, just to the east of I-25 and this is a part of the Denver metro area that is really blown up. It's a good thing so far that we have not heard of any reports of any fatalities or any significant damage suffered at the hands of that twister. Tonight, things are quieting down across the Centennial State. Just a few lingering showers up across the northern border, and that is about it. Now, the big story as we look ahead is going to be some sizzling hot temperatures. You know, summer still a few weeks away, folks, but we are feeling more like summer then late spring today's high 89 in the springs and 94 in Pueblo and we're going to amp it up a few more notches tomorrow. 91 is my forecast. The average is 79, so we're 12 above that. Tomorrow's going to be June 8th, so pretty close to when we saw the first 90 degree day last year in 2020. That was on June 5th when we topped out at 94 degrees. Pueblo over the next few days, buckle up and get ready. Hopefully that swamp cooler or the AC is ready to go and can deliver some cool relief. 97 tomorrow, 96 on Wednesday. You want to visit local pool on Thursday with a high of 99. And tonight, temperatures slow to cool down after today's heat. Right now, 64 degrees in the springs, but we are still in the upper 70s, maybe feeling more like Vegas than Pueblo. I'd have to check with Elizabeth on that one since she did live there a while. <laughs> temperatures in La Junta in the low 70s this evening. Lamar at 73, Woodland Park at 59, and Monument at 55 degrees. You can see high pressure is going to dominate the weather picture and keep us hot and dry for the next couple of days. So if you're planning a hike tomorrow, anything outside, make sure to take some breaks or seek some shade, stay hydrated and wear light colored, loose fitting clothing to help you with those hot temperatures. It'll be feeling like summer as highs warm into the lower 90s. And as that high pressure system expands from the central plains, it's also going to dry out the atmosphere. So we're not expecting any thunderstorms or showers throughout the day. So nice weather to get outside and maybe cool down, like I said, with a dip in the pool. Your lows tonight eventually cooling down to the 50s in the springs in Pueblo and Canyon City, upper 40s in Woodland Park and Sawatch. Tomorrow's highs very warm. Mountains and mountain valleys in the 70s and 80s. The rest of us will be feeling the heat. 97 in Pueblo, 99 in La Junta, 91 in the springs. And you can see over the next seven days, Tomorrow would be the hottest day of the year. I think we beat that again on Thursday with maybe as high as 92 to 93 in the springs. Cold front brings us some relief late in the week with a high of 80 by Friday. We're dry over the next five to six days in Pueblo with upper 90s through Thursday and then a little bit of relief Friday, Saturday with the chance of storms Monday afternoon. Canyon City, we've got 90s here through Thursday and then we shave off about 10 to 12 degrees Friday. Yeah, some relief spelled out there with a high of 82. For Woodland Park, highs in the lower 80s to upper 70s before we cool things down on Friday and then talk about some showers and storms by the end of the weekend. Elizabeth?